guys. This is your girl, Alicia Joya. Thank you so much for coming to this YouTube video. I have a couple things I want to show you, so it's going to be jam-packed. I'll try to make it as quick as possible. However, um, I am afraid this might not be. So if you want to pause this video right here, right now, then now's a good time. All right, guys, now that you guys are back, I'm going to show you guys my new creation store. I finally put it up after not having it since 2018. Yeah, I haven't had my creation store in a hot minute. This entire build is mine as well. Um, everything in here is built by me, except for this piece right there. But the logo, everything obviously is mine. Um, Right now, I am on Adventure Isle. I am actually right behind the auction house. So I still have the freedom store, the auction house, and now I have my creation store. Now, the first floor is put together. So we're going to go over this in mouse look together. Okay, we're in mouse look together. Now, when you walk in, you're going to see the auction house right behind you and the beautiful store. But you're going to be able to see all my demos that I currently have on my products. Um, you're going to see repeats of the same stuff because it's not quite built, even though that is a live product. Um, but this place, I hand built myself. Um, I have everything that's on the marketplace store except for I have my group um, discount. So in order to get in the group, you just gotta join it. It's 50 London to join, and you guys get group discounts on things that are new. And every display is all made by me. This is all prim work. There is no mesh. There's no sculpted. No nothing. All prim work. Um, this is before there was any mesh. Um, so I'm currently wearing this product on my person right now. And I'm also wearing another product of mine that we can get to. Let's find it in a minute. Okay, we'll find it later. So I love, these are my favorite boots of all time. You can get them as a demo. I have to fix the demo, but it still works as a demo right now, but, um, yeah, um, I make all kinds of stuff. I have to redo my ads for my tails, because that was totally 2011, <laughs> and we're in 2021. I think 10 years is finally time to update my, uh, my advertisements, but I put them up for now because the product still is viable. Um, I have my eyes here. Everything is hand painted, hand made by me. And these, these ones are system eyes over here. So I'm actually going to be converting these into, um, not only will they be mesh eyes for human eyes, but they'll be for the Jumbo Abbey. They'll be for the Jex. Uh, and I'm working on a mesh head one because I realized even my mesh eyes do not fit in the Lelutica heads at all. And I wear Lelutica's. Here is my, my other boots that I like. I have more colors that are coming out that are seasonal, exclusive only for um, people in the group as a group gift discount. And then once they are released, I will increase the price for everybody else. Of course, my tails, my original tails. Again, I got to update <laughs> this advertisement. This is totally 2011. Uh, over here is a mask that I have made. It's unisex. And it's um, so one of my really nice. When I started changing my layout from from this layout to this layout, it just completely works. It just works better. Um, let's see. I make stuff for for um, furries. Um, I'm going to be adding more mods in here, more eyes for the Jex Abbey, Jomo Wolf. But there's also going to be single items as well on the bottom. I left room on the bottom and I left room on the top for special colors uh, and special designs of certain things for each one of these products. 
Um, also, here's my mesh human eyes as well. Again, this is the layout with the black background. Um, just showing it all. I don't think these are the same eyes for the human, and these are the same ones for the jacks. So, and then here is a hair flower that I love. I love this avatar, even though it's system, this one. But I want to redo this ad because I want to put it um, in the same format as this. So I have a lot of reworking, reskinning to do. And I might add some more colors and variations now that I'm better at mesh. Now here's another of these things as well. These are dresses. These are individual. I'm going to be creating a fat pack for all the colors that I have. And yes, the alphas are included. And yes, this is for um, standard um, classic Abby, not for mesh Abby. There's no fit mesh in this. And also, you also get two full perm shapes as well to work with. So if you are a creator, a good chance to get a copy of a, uh, a couple of really nice shapes along with it. Again, I'm, I have plans on making products on the very top for certain colors as well as the bottoms. Now, these are also system eyes. These were my other originals as well. So, system eyes over there, system eyes over here. Did the same vendor on purpose because I needed a little bit of a filler for now. And then, because uh, I'm constantly creating, doesn't matter what it is. Um, so now, I have my affiliate vendor over here, which I've always had. It's always been free on the marketplace. It's free here. It's a 20% uh, affiliate, affiliate vendor as well. So everybody can win a prize. I'm leaving room on both of these sides up here for uh, group only discounted items for both sides um, because I like to give Linden loving or some type of loving towards um, you guys who support me. And then I have my sale. And here's the vests here. So you have to be part of the group as well. This is the fit mesh uh, ones. So I've been converting all, all my old school mesh stuff to the fit mesh so it uh, fits the classic Abby. This is just one of those blank ones. It's not even, this is like a hidden vendor. It won't be hidden after this video, but uh, you guys get my drift. It's going to be hidden for my uh, group members. And again, there's my demo wall. And you can join the group. It's only 50 minutes. And you walk up my stairs. Yes, it's old school. But here, everything is the same up here because this gives me room to build up. Okay, so we're walking this way. Again, room to fill up here, room to fill down here. So I gave myself plenty of room to expand, to grow. Um, even these displays I had built myself many, many years ago. And I actually sell this building for nine lindens on the marketplace. I even saw my auction house build, even though it's a different texturing on the marketplace for nine lindens. And it's massive and it's only 67 prem. This is only 19. So here you have the displays. I don't know if I reduced the price yet. I have to double check my marketplace later. But I wanted to make these displays um, separate. So what if you like the displays, but you don't want the building, you know, type thing and vice versa. So anyways, there's three floors of this. This is um, what we came out of. And then the way to get to the uh, third floor is this way. So again, this is old school stuff, you know, like old school build as you know. um, I will be retexturing the bending things to make them black. So, but I kind of appreciate the black and white thing. Again, here's some more vendors. Like I said, these are all blank. You know, they're all, these are, even though these are uh, for sure products that I do sell and that you can purchase from any one of these vendors and you will get something. Um, you will also 
just know that this just repeats for now until I build up. I'll be working on one vendor one day and then a couple of weeks later it might be something new and vice versa. Uh, then I'll basically, I'm going to have a mixture of everything all over the place in the very beginning. And then once I start creating my hairs as well, that's when it's going to get really serious. I already have hairs, mesh hairs in the works for humans, for jacks, for furries, uh, for mesh heads, for de default heads. And so here's my group gifts. I still got to put in my gift cards um, back up in here. So you can stand here, but you have to wear your group tag in order to be able to win a prize on over here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I have all kinds of interesting products in my, <laughs> my line over here. Um, again, these are all default uh, product lines over here. Um, I'm thinking about putting some freebies over here on the top for both sides. Um, just because I want to get some freebies in for you guys. Uh, but I want to do it via Casper Vin to kind of make sure that everything gets redelivered appropriately. So is this what this looks like? The nice thing about this build, I can make it taller. I mean, all we got to do is just shift and repeat and then make a hole at the top. That's all I have to do if I wanted to make this building bigger. Um, when you go down, duck your head, everybody. <laughs> um, I know I have to because I'm a very, very tall Abby. So again, when you're on the second floor, you see the auction house that way. So um, we walk out this way. And again, you're going to see products everywhere. Now that there's not going to be any more gotchas now because Second Life changed their rules for Casper Bend. Uh, duck your head again when you come down here. Oops, you know, I get stuck. <laughs> it's my own build. So when you walk out of here, uh, you can see the auction house like right on out here. All right. So you come on in and visit us over here. I have all my um, my advertisements here on the wall filled up with actual you know people, the love and support of people. Even this place has gone through a transformation. I have updated this entire store and auction house and even the breedable store. Unfortunately, that boat board had over almost 700 boats and I accidentally took it back and it reset it. So I reset everything here. So I moved everything. I moved the kiosk in different places. I mean, my coloration is still the same, but it's not as cluttered. I don't have the rainbow anymore. Um, right now, this auction house is still a mess, um, and, the, and the store here is still a mess. Um, I have tons of stuff to do, some events, auction times. I'm going to be um, adding another one of those boards where it says Haven Breedables Rules Light and Welcome to Haven Breedables. I'm going to be adding another board for um, any type of special events that I'm personally holding so you guys can always see it. But um, I've just been so busy. Um, my schedule has been very busy. Now, what has also changed is um, this whole back area. I had uh, the same texture right here as on the floor that I'm showing you all over as part of the shelves. Now, it was just too bright. It looked like a, a rave. And I wanted you guys to just show off the products. Now, I do want to warn you when you walk on this carpet, this is my own personal scripted carpet. When you walk on it, it changes colors. So I have people sometimes going back and forth on it, <laughs> just changing it, the color on it on purpose. So when you come out here, you're going to see my breedable gotchas, even though these are not going to be gotchas anymore. Um, these are my old gotchas, and I'm changing them from these guys to these guys. Now, these guys actually give you a very specific um, product. All you have to do is click on the arrows or click on uh, list all items and we'll let you know how many items are in the vendor or what number out of whatever. And it will give you a list of the actual product and you can actually choose 
which part do you want to buy? So now it's not a gotcha. It's very specific. So I'm converting all my gotchas. I only got 45 more to go. Plus I got more to add. Um, I also uh, changed this up again. All the stuff is in the air. I have some aligning to do still. A lot of aligning to do. I'm now calling auctions at my sister's place now. Um, because, you know, why not? You know, I love her. You know? So, I mean, I put some stuff in the proper spots. Some stuff. I didn't do everything. So, you know? So, I have a lot of aligning. But now it looks more open. And now it looks bigger, even though it's, it's huge as it is. So, if you guys come on in, every single one of these products is um, viable and live, if you want to say. And all these... Um, Rentals are available as well for rent. It's only 25. I did have to put rules in here because I had people abusing the rules. Um, and uh, basically, in a nutshell, uh, trying to uh, let them read their items here and then they would not take care of their prims. So uh, now we have the butterflies and all the other items in here. I still have to line so if you're looking for something you know I'm the girl to go to um, so I do have I will be having a lot of things to do here so. and then again we're getting my landmark thingy and when you guys go in here some of the stuff has already been aligned like I've already aligned my embers, I've aligned this section. I have to add more products here. Now I have the prims, it's less laggy here. Um, I have to add products now. Because now it looks bare on the shelves. Um, yeah, I've been selling a lot of things as of late as well. I even moved the fish tank from where it used to be to right over here as well. Um, I used to have the original shelves kind of catty corner right over here and it made it look a little bit smaller now it looks bigger and more spacious here so i mean i still got my plant pet stuff here but then when you come here there's five floors now to explore um there some of them are not filled up so you're gonna have to use a teleporter if you're feeling kind of lazy but for the sake of this video oh i have a lot of cleaning up to do they've been busy okay when we uh, go up the stairs, this is what we're doing in mouse look so y'all can see it. It is a big store. It is um, 128 by uh, 64 by 141 in height. Yeah. Okay, this used to be all bare and nothing. So now I have more advertisement boards here. I have... Uh, these are going to be meant for amaretto bundles, and my friend made these sock, uh, these uh, signs. You click them and they change, and they're by category and in alphabetical order. So she did a brilliant job in making these. So I've already started to align a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Some of these are going to be specific horses per se, entities, you know, things like that that people are actually looking for, blood dolls vampire horses, you know, like designer horses. And then uh, over here is going to be, you know, the other multi-breeds on over here as well. Um, so I already know what I'm going to be doing with the part of this wall already. Um, I have evil plans for this as well. So now, as you cam along, you're going to see a lot of different things happening on here. You're going to see a lot of mess. You're going to see a lot of everything. But when you go to the fifth floor, we're just going to walk it together. And I'm just going to, just going to talk with you all. I have vendors of different breedables you've probably never heard of. Or maybe stuff you haven't read in a while or forgot about. Um, over here, I think this is my event section. My, yeah, I think this might be my event section, the third floor. It's all bare and empty, but it's not really bare and empty. It has teleporter here, so if you guys are, you know, curious about coming up here, you guys can. Also, um, 
This gives me a blank slate on how to rework this as well. I can add more products here. Maybe I can. I was actually suggested to put my creative store here, but I just needed my own separate space. So now we're getting ready to go to the fourth floor. And then the fifth floor is actually a half of, of the store. So it's 64 by 64 on the very top. Um, I love this store, even though it's old school. It's an old school build. I really love it. Um, definitely, this might be my actual event area. Now I think about it. I love the textures that I use, but this is one of my favorite parts of this entire build is this big, huge, like, wall. I might put affiliates up here, other affiliates of different things up here, just because. Because there's a lot of different creators out here and that do wonderful things. And as we get ready to turn to go towards the fifth floor, um, you're going to see the classroom. Now, it's still in the works. I'm still working the board that's over onto the right. So, um, this is the classroom, Haven Breedables classroom. So when you walk up and, or if you go on to teleporter, if you're feeling kind of lazy, and I purposely chose this black chalk worky like texture for the entire store to reflect the classroom feel as well. So um, it says, welcome to Haven Breedables. And then you see my messed up mesh pieces. <laughs> So as you get closer, they start coming into focus. <laughs> that was my first time doing a, a single character. So basically, this is what you get. And then I have two media boards over here so I can do some media teaching as well. And then I have my wait list, which is exclusive to only five people. Only uh, couples are considered one person. So I have the chairs, I have, you know, the rug, I have my two tables for displays for the breathables. It's just to keep it clean so that my, um, my students will be able to have a, the rug to use as their um, learning environment, as their resin area. So um, we have plenty of space to work up here. I have my teacher sign up here, and yes, I put an apple. <laughs> I put an apple. And then um, I put the classroom rule, rules light. And I realized there's a couple errors here. And then I also have an error in my classroom schedule. And then I'm gonna just gonna keep it only the two days and two times in which I'm planning on doing the classroom. And uh, yeah. So because I'm only doing them on Fridays once a day for now until I get the groove because I'm already calling 9 a.m. in the mornings at my sister's place, uh, Dragons and Roses. If you guys have any comments or questions, just per my profile, my name is Alicia Joya Haven. Um, so yeah, just come on in, take a look. I'm very proud of this. Now I'm going to be teaching breedables, not just Papillon, but a lot of other different breedables that I'm very much and have a lot of knowledge about. So anyways, I hope you find this place useful. Hopefully you come and visit, come and say hi. Um, I am a very busy avatar in SL, but I'm also even busier in the real world. Hope you come by and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. What you see, oh, who's about to pass it?